This video is sponsored by Filmora Video Editor, a full feature video editing tool for beginners. Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today it's back to the normal schedule, it's Filmmaking Friday and we're going to see how to create an awesome glitch transition just like this. Alright, so this is a really cool effect to give some punch in your video and to make it a little bit more creative than it would be with a regular transition. So without further ado, let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro and get started. continue this video I would like to talk about Filmora video editor. Filmora is an amazing full feature video editor that is just less complicated than a professional and software. And if you are a beginner or just someone that does it as a hobby and wants to create amazing travel videos, vlogs or anything like that, I would definitely advise you to check out Filmora, download the free trial, all the features as a full feature video editing software, but it's extremely easy to use. And if you don't want to put all the complexity into it, it comes with pre-installed templates and stuff like that, which is ideal for someone that just wants to enjoy the video editing process without too much headaches. So be sure to check it out, link is in the description and now let's continue with the tutorial. Alright, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and I prepared two video files that you can use. Uh, I will put a link in the description and then I have a song right here from Levito Beats, uh, which is a good friend of mine. He creates amazing beats on his YouTube channel and you can actually use them for free as long as you credit him in your description. So that's an amazing opportunity. I love his quality also and I use it a ton of times. It's not just because it's a friend it's actually because the quality is very good. So I'm going to be using these three things and maybe a little bit more extra, but that's for later in this video. So uh, download everything with the link in the description and then we can get started here. Okay, so I will go into a new sequence. So I will create a new sequence and make it just full HD. Uh, so my settings are full HD, 24 FPS, um, but that doesn't really matter. It's a transition tutorial, not a render setting tutorial. So we'll rename this to transition glitch and click OK. So the first thing that I will do is bring my footage one into my timeline and then just make sure that I zoom in to my timeline a little bit so we can actually see our uh, video as long as possible right here. So uh, we will bring our second footage also in our video in our timeline but what we want to do is actually bring it on top of our other video and kind of overlap it a little bit just like this right here. So I'm not sure how much time we actually overlap right here but let's check with uh, some help of the audio here. So let's all also import our audio track and let's zoom out just to see where the actual beat drop starts and that's around here so what I'll do is go and trim my audio file uh, until here and then just drag it over to the beginning of my timeline again I will zoom in and then kind of trim it um, because I want the drop to be around here so like this So right here we have the drop and here we will have the new video but currently it already starts a little bit sooner. So what I'll do is just mute the audio so you don't hear it in my tutorial but basically what I want to do is right here on that drop I want to click on my footage O2 and go to my effects controls right here. In my effects controls you will see another timeline as you can see right here it will make it a little bit bigger so we can actually concentrate a little bit more on that timeline uh, but right here we want to create new keyframes for the actual original settings for footage O2. So we'll click on the stopwatch for scale and position and that will create two keyframes right here. Then go four frames backward into time. So we'll click in our timeline right here so it actually knows that we're working in that timeline. And then with the arrow left on your keyboard, one, two, three, four, we will create new keyframes for the exact same setting. So what we'll do is click on these diamonds and that will create other keyframes with the exact same value, just meaning that in between these keyframes, we're gonna have the exact same uh, key for, well values. If we're at these keyframes, let's hit the arrow left key one more time. And now we are here one frame backwards. So what we'll do here is click on our motion and then you will see that we get some kind of borders around our video. But to see this a little bit clearer, we'll go and go for 50% that we will be able to see it a little bit better. 75, let's see, we still see it, uh, the edges. So what we wanna do is actually click on the motion that will allow us to scale it or move our video. So we will scale it down just a touch and then just move it over to wherever you want. 
and then go and click on that timeline again, move backwards four frames again, so one, two, three, four. And again, we're going to do the same thing. So we are going to create these keyframes by clicking on these two diamonds here and then click in the timeline one frame backwards, click on the motion again, make it even smaller, move it over to wherever you want and click again in your timeline, one, two, three, four, create these keyframes, one frame backwards, and then again, click on the motion, move it over here and maybe make it even smaller. And there we go. So now we have uh, a little bit of movement going on and then we can actually stop here because these frames are exactly uh, the exact same value. So what we have now is something like this. Pretty cool. It looks amazing already. And especially with that B drop, it's going to punch in already, but we want to spice it up a little bit more, give it a little bit more details because it's all about the details. So what we'll do is just uh, go over to our project manager right here and we're going to create a new item. We're going to choose for the color mat and click OK. And here I'm going for a red color and click OK. I'm going to rename this to red color and then I'm going to hit OK. And now what I want to do is actually bring in my color mat into my timeline on a new layer. But what I want to do is actually I want to start it when the beat drops and when the final video is actually completely in frame. So let's see uh, if we take this away. Where is it completely in frame? That's around right here and actually a little bit sooner and then we expect it. So what we'll do is just move our video over a little bit. So on the beat drop, we want to have our video completely in frame. So now we want to move over our color mat to that exact same location and we want to go to the effect controls for that color mat. We'll go to the opacity, we're going to the opacity effect right here, click on the opacity and right under that you'll see a little icon create four point polygon mask. So let's click on that and we want to reset the mask feather right here which is or, um, automatically at 10. Let's just put that at zero so we have um, these hard edges. And then we want to select in our program monitor these two points so just uh, click and drag and then move them over to the left holding shift to have a straight line and do the same for the other side right here. Maybe select the top ones and make it a little bit smaller if you want to and then you can also move it over to wherever you want. So maybe around here is perfect. And now the magic is going to happen by just changing the blending mode of that red color. So go in the blending mode and change it to for example overlay. And there we go. So now we have a nice red line. If we zoom a little bit more in our timeline, we can actually uh, trim this to like, say, let's say like two frames long. And now we have a little glitch line. Of course, we can hold Alt and drag it up and maybe create another glitch line by clicking on your uh, new layer, go to the mask and actually move the mask over here and maybe make it a little bit smaller. So we have a little bit more variation going on. You can also click over here, hold Alt, drag one up and kind of offset it. So we have a one coming later. So we can click on it again, mask, move one down. So now we have something like this going on and maybe we want to have some kind of other colors in there. So easily uh, we can just create a new color mat and click OK. And now maybe go for a cyan color, click OK and cyan color. And now if we drag this on top of our red one here, but while you're on top of that, hold Alt and that will replace it with that new layer that we selected. And now we have this color, pretty cool. So now we have some kind of glitch lines and of course you can click on it and modify it a little bit more. Maybe you want to select these bottom um, points, make it a little bit bigger. make it a little bit bigger and maybe we want to offset it like this. So it's kind of half in the frame and that's kind of an element, a glitch element, pretty cool. Uh, so we can build upon this and kind of add a little bit of glitchy uh, effects while this transition actually happens. We can also do something different and that's by going to the glitch pack, which is actually an elements pack that we sell on our website, but we also have a free version with less variation. But if you want more variation, go and get this pack on our website. It also helps to support the channel. Uh, so what we'll do is open up that pack I just imported that and as you can see we have a bunch of glitch elements and if we click on one you will see right here in the uh, program monitor how that actually looks. So that's pretty cool. What we'll do is actually drag this in our timeline again and again on top on a new layer. We click on this and as you can see it's actually bigger than full HD so we can actually scale it down a little bit like this and then again go to that opacity we can actually uh, kind of uh, mask the top part out. So hold shift to make a straight line I think. Uh, like so, and there we have it, okay? Again, feather zero, and there we go. So now we have a glitch kind of top part, uh, which already looks pretty cool if we make it a little bit shorter. 
but of course you can change the blending modes again. So you can click on it, go to the blending mode right here and actually scroll while you're on top of that to see the different kind of variations. I think classic or color dodge works very fine, but on the top it wouldn't really come out because it's a little bit too uh, kind of bright there. So what we'll do is go to the motion and just move it down. Okay, cool. Another cool thing that you can do with the glitch pack is actually uh, use it as some kind of texture for your colors. Maybe you want to drag this one in and you want to use a part of this one. So if we scale it down here, let's say we want to uh, use a chunk of the middle here so we can actually um, select this part. Move it up and there we go and zero feather. But of course we want a different color. We want to go with that red or blue color that we chose for. So you can go to effects and go to the color correction in the video effects uh, folder and apply the tint effect on top of that glitch. And that way if you change uh, the white uh, mapping to something different like red you're going to get like a red glitch but with a texture to it and it's going to look a lot more detailed than if you would just use a simple color uh, matte but that also works it's completely up to you I'm just pointing you uh, in the right direction here and then it's up to you to what uh, whatever you want to do so maybe an additive here and then go to the motion and also reposition this to wherever you want uh, and as you can see it looks pretty cool so uh, you can do a bunch of cool things here So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial again also for all right again for this glitch make it shorter maybe position it over here and then we have this cool transition in our shot. All right so cool that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it. If you did give this video a like also subscribe to the channel for more and definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers and motion graphics artists and if you buy something it helps to support the channel. Hope to see you in the next one and goodbye.